Begin this evening in Roanoke, where a full investigation is now underway after an officer involved shooting over the weekend has left one man dead. WDBJ 7's Layla Mitchell is live in Roanoke and Layla, you've been following this shooting. What can you tell us about the events leading up to this death? Yeah, Natalie, it happened right here on Hirschberger Road and Ferncliff Avenue, and police say that the man that they shot and killed had been making threats to police officers earlier that day, but people and witnesses, they say they have questions, and they say that the man who may have not been armed at the time of the shooting. Questions remain after police fatally shot a wanted man Saturday afternoon. The man was identified as 41-year-old Travis Martin. The shooting happened when officers pulled Martin over in the 2900 block of Hirschberger Road. Martin allegedly exited his vehicle armed with an axe or hatchet and came toward the officers. He struck one patrol car several times with that weapon, then turned and advanced towards the officers. At that time, Two Roanoke police officers discharged their service weapons and struck the man. Police have been looking for Martin since Saturday morning. They say Martin yelled threats at officers outside the police station around 8.30 a.m. Later that morning, they say Martin also called 911, threatening to kill all Roanoke police officers and dispatchers. Warrants were issued and a search for Martin began. As always, it's an incredibly difficult time when an officer has to use deadly force. Some witnesses and Martin's family question the department's account of what happened. They say the shooting was not justified and are calling for the release of the body cam footage to provide transparency. Yeah, so I am open to that. All right, there's still some other footage that we have to pull so we can make sure we have a, a complete picture, but that is always a possibility. That possibility will likely hinge on the decision of Roanoke's Commonwealth's attorney, Don Caldwell. I spoke with him Monday, where he emphasized that the investigation will take weeks. Only after the investigation is complete will his team determine next steps. When the investigation is completed, the Virginia State Police will consult with this office to determine whether or not criminal charges are appropriate under the circumstances. And some question why officers didn't use a taser on Martin. I've asked police that question and I'm waiting for a response back. And as for the body cam footage, that is up to Caldwell and police. Again, you heard Chief Booth say that he is open to the idea of publishing it to the community. We will update you as soon as that happens. For now, reporting live in Roanoke, Layla Mitchell, WDBJ 7. Just a tragic situation all the way around. Layla, thank you so much.